Thanks for listening to English Go podcast. If you'd like to listen without adverts, read episode transcripts, or listen to extra bonus episodes, please check the description for more details. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promo rate for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A. FDA approved for over 20 years. So talk to your specialist to see if Botox Cosmetic is right for you. For full prescribing information, including boxed warning, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. Remember to ask for Botox Cosmetic by name. To see for yourself and learn more, visit BotoxCosmetic.com. That's BotoxCosmetic.com. The other weekend, I went to an English pub. Actually, not just the one. I went to two um, English-style pubs. Well, it wasn't an English pub. It was in Japan. But, you know, an English-style Japanese pub. Um, and if you think this sounds familiar, it's because I talked about going to an English-style Japanese pub, oh, I don't know, four or five episodes ago, maybe. Um, so I've been living in Japan for just over a year now. And for that, I think for that whole year, first year I was here, I didn't go to any English-style pubs whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, um, we go to one. And then the week, was it the week after, weekend after, or something like that, we go to another two uh, in the same day. So um, I don't know. At, at this moment in time, uh, we're just going like English pub crazy. I don't know if we're going to go to any more in the near future. Maybe so. Um, so anyway, I'll tell you a bit about that uh, experience today. So, uh, this pub we went to was a lot closer to home. The last time we went, it was about, I think, an hour and a half away. We managed to find one that was half an hour away, uh, so much easier to get to. And it was a quiet experience. I don't know if it, if uh, the pub became a lot busier later on, uh, but when we arrived, which was pretty early, we, we got there just after opening time. So this particular pub, it opened at um, 5 p.m., which which is weird for a pub, actually. Um, I think m lots of pubs in England seem to be op open in the morning and just stay open pretty much all day. Um, it depends on the pub. But, yeah, opening just, just at 5, uh, maybe a long time ago. I think a long time ago that was normal for pubs um, in the UK. But anyway... Um, it opened at five and we went in and there was no one in there at all, just uh, the two of us. And I thought that that was perfectly fine. It was quiet, you know, and um, the, the there was some there was like a bar member of staff uh, working at the bar and they were always there. Um, so I guess maybe they could hear what we were saying. I don't know. I don't know if they could understand English. Uh, we were talking in English mostly whilst being in this um, English-style Japanese pub. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that was okay. And it didn't start getting busier until uh, about, until we'd been in there about an hour and a half. And then a couple came in and then one other person came in. So the most, you know, the most number of customers that we saw there, including ourselves, was... Um, five people. So hardly busy, really, like a complete contrast from the, uh, well, almost all the places that I go to drink uh, in Japan, which are usually incredibly busy and noisy. So I was really happy about this change. My wife was not so happy um, because sh she tends to prefer like an environment that's louder and busier. Just so... I don't, so it's sort of like you can talk and you don't feel like, P 
people might be listening to what you're saying. You know, so many people talking that your conversation is sort of hidden in a sea of conversations, hidden in a load of conversations. Um, but I am quite used to that quiet type of atmosphere. And it's often that you'll find the pub um, very quiet, um, maybe in the afternoons, maybe in the mornings, and in the early evenings before they start to get very busy. And it's just, it is, it's a, it's, sometimes it's a really peaceful experience, you know, sometimes there's no music playing whatsoever, you just walk in, it's just this room, it's quiet, it's nice. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm used to it, so really it didn't bother me, and I was quite glad to have that change and that peace and quiet in a pub. The pub itself was, you know, it's quite nicely decorated, um, it had some pictures of, like, advertisements for... Um, different types of ale from the UK and stuff like that. There was a a Union Jack flag hanging from the ceiling. Um, There was a picture of the royal family um, on the fireplace that was in there. So, yeah, it was nice enough. I liked it. The one thing I wasn't too keen on, I should say that we we ate there. um, And obviously we we drank there, of course. Um, But the one thing I wasn't too keen on was the choice of beer you could get. So you could get this um, one beer called Fuller's London Pride, I think it's called, which is really not my favourite beer. Um, It's okay. I would give it like a 5 out of 10. But if I go to a pub and I see um, London Pride, then I just think, what else have they got? You know, I always skip over that one because it's not my favourite. But having said that, um, I think I, I mean, I drank that. I think I enjoyed it more than I normally would if I was in England, just because it's so hard to get like real ale um, over here. So any kind of real ale becomes better than it normally would be, you know, like it's, it's, it's upgraded. So um, I had, I had that and, oh, and we ordered some food. Um, I was looking at the menu and for some reason I ended up going for fish and chips again. I don't know why. Um, that was the same thing I ordered at the last pub I was in. And normally when I go to a pub, I don't tend to order fish and chips often. Um, maybe it's because it's it's so hard to get it over here normally. I don't know. But um, yeah, I ordered fish and chips and they were quite good, I would say. The... Um, the fish was interesting. I thought it was very interesting because it wasn't cod and it wasn't haddock, which are the two types of fish that you would normally find when you order fish and chips. Um, mostly cod, but it was um, this particular fish. It was the 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 meat. I don't know fish meat was sort of a bit see through, and the skin was red. Um, and I think it was a fish that's called Thai in Japanese. I think it's called Thai in Japanese. I don't know what it's called in English. Um, unfortunately, bream, is it? I don't know. Red bream? I'm, I might be making this up. Um, but yeah, that's the first time I've ever had that with fish and chips. So that was um, pretty interesting. And to be honest, it was a good alternative, I would say. I mean, I think I prefer cod or haddock, but it wasn't bad. I quite enjoyed it. I, I liked the change of the, the different fish. Um, the thing that was a little disappointing, to be perfectly honest, um, were the chips, because they were not chips, they were fries. Um, and I've never had fish and fries before, but I have now. <laughs> I mean, it's still potato, so, you know, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, there's something something nicer about having that thicker chip Um I don't know what it is. I just it just works better. I think. Um, what else? What was I going to say? I was just about to say something, and that was it. Yeah, this this, this happened in both of the pubs, both of the um, English pubs that I've been in. When I've ordered fish and chips, um, some like a, a waiter waitress will bring uh, a a bottle of vinegar to the table, and I thought, oh yeah, this looks good, you know, because because this is what would happen normally. You'd put vinegar and salt on your fish and chips. But then they just bring the the vinegar, and uh, that's it. There's never any salt. Um, So this time I asked, I said, have you got any salt? And uh, this person went away and managed to get, like, 
it wasn't like a normal like salt shaker that you'd have for um, a table, like in a restaurant, like a, a small, delicate salt shaker. It was a like a, the one that you would use in the kitchen, you know, like quite a big, chunky thing, um, which was fine. I don't mind. But yeah, I don't I don't think I don't know why. Maybe for, for some reason, like people over here must think fish and chips, vinegar. That's great. You know, good. Good. Ten points out of ten for that. But you can't forget the uh, salt. <laughs> for this for this person, after I asked for the salt, it was interesting. I actually brought along some pepper later. And I thought, no, no, I don't I don't need pepper on this. I'm quite I'm quite happy, you know, salt and vinegar, that's all I need. But um yeah, very you know, very nice person, very kind, and uh went to get the pepper just in case I needed it too. But um yeah, not bad. I, I enjoyed it there. I liked it being quiet. I think I could have stopped there a bit longer to be perfectly honest. Um, but my uh, my wife wanted to try another pub and there was one pretty clear, pretty clear? Pretty near by. And um, she'd been there before, but she wanted to take me uh, there and see what it was like. So that is where we went to next and that will probably be the topic of my next episode because I have now reached the 10-minute mark. So, um, yeah, let's talk about that next episode. Until then, bye-bye. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promo rate for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, FDA approved for over 20 years. So, talk to your specialist to see if Botox Cosmetic is right for you. For full prescribing information, including boxed warning, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. Remember to ask for Botox Cosmetic by name. To see for yourself and learn more, visit BotoxCosmetic.com. That's BotoxCosmetic.com. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, FDA approved for over 20 years. So, talk to your specialist to see if Botox Cosmetic is right for you. For full prescribing information, including boxed warning, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. Remember to ask for Botox Cosmetic by name. To see for yourself and learn more, visit BotoxCosmetic.com. That's BotoxCosmetic.com.